As you may have heard, the federal government just passed Bill C-10, the Safe Streets and Communities Act. At first, that doesn't sound so bad. Who doesn't like safe streets and communities? See, the first problem with Bill C-10 is that it's not just one bill, it's nine, all stuffed under this foreboding moniker, omnibus crime bills. Now, to me, that already sounds like a multi-car pileup full of buses driven by criminals. Ominous indeed. Now, Surely, giving our country's most vile criminals stiffer sentencing can't be as bad as a multi-car pileup full of buses driven by criminals, right? Well, maybe. Bill C-10 introduces new mandatory minimum sentencing for all criminal charges. Gone are the days where youth could be rehabilitated through community service. Now, someone who commits a petty crime, such as thieving or growing marijuana plants, earns the same minimum sentence as someone who causes a multicolor pileup while drunk. This is the core of the problem with Bill C-10. Bill C-10, by removing conditional sentencing and introducing mandatory jail time, doesn't target Canada's worst citizens. It targets ordinary citizens like you and me who might once in a while make a mistake. This doesn't sound like Canada to me. This sounds like more US style punishment. Even Texas, where an atheist still can't hold public office, has come out against this style of punishment. Why? Because it makes no sense! We could go on. Despite whatever good intentions of safekeeping the conservative, the conservative government had, have been lost in Bill C-10. Each one of the bills seems ill thought out, harmful, and wickedly wasteful. It's fiscally frivolous because mandatory minimum sentences will increase the average sentence life, increasing the prison population. Each prisoner costs a hundred thousand dollars each year to house, clothe, and feed. What would you do with an extra hundred thousand dollars? You could put it towards your education, make a down payment on your first house, even donate a little to charity. To me, Canada is a great place. I love Canada. I love that when someone bumps me on transit accidentally, we both apologize profusely. I love that we have a reputation as a peacekeeping country. But this, this is not my Canada. Look, we're not asking you to go out and buy our Stop Harper 2012 bracelets. We don't even want you postering the city in the middle of the night. All we want is for you to think about it. Is this right? Is the right right? Is losing your rights right? If you say no, then write. Write a letter, write a tweet, write a blog post. But most importantly, write a wrong. <laughs>